watching Color 10 News at 10 in high definition. A store clerk credits his former career with helping him stop a would-be robber. Good evening, everybody. Good to have you along here at 10. I'm David Oliver. A man pulled a gun on the clerk at a liquor store out in Marionville, and Color 10's Laura Kennedy shows the clerk then pulled his own gun. The surveillance video is short, but to the point. Most of us would not be calm and collected at the barrel end of a gun, but lucky for John Alexander, he was prepared. John Alexander is a clerk at the Beer 30 liquor store. He was working a typical shift Sunday night when things got interesting. A gentleman could come in the, uh, the door there, smoke a cigarette, and I asked him to take a cigarette back outside. All of a sudden, he started holding a gun out from, from behind him, and. Uh, said you need to give me all your money. But the would-be thief learned quickly he picked the wrong guy, a former military police officer packing heat. And I pulled my weapon up and put it up against his mouth and told him, you need to get out of here before I blow your head off. Back right, right on out the door. Two days later, Alexander's bold moves are the talk of Marionville, and the store's owners are pleased that they hired a security guard and a clerk all in one. I think it's a situation where everybody has to determine what they're capable of handling. I wouldn't recommend everybody do it. You have to have a little training to be able to do stuff like that. Training to make split-second decisions. From the time the man walked through the door, Alexander says the whole exchange was only about 11 seconds. You never know exactly what to do. You just hope you do the right thing. With 30 years in the military under his belt, Alexander says he's used to high risk. Any place that deals in high volume of money is a target. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody does try to attempt it again some time down the road. And if they do, John Alexander will be ready. Police have that surveillance video and are still searching for the suspect. My full interview with John Alexander is posted on our website, OzarksFirst.com, and you can also watch the surveillance video again there. All right, interesting stuff tonight, Laura. Thanks. A Springfield couple now must spend thousands of dollars to repair damage left behind by copper thieves. Ashley Cartwright has been working to put this house on the market while her husband, Jeremiah, is deployed over in Afghanistan. Copper thieves stripped the appliances and the copper piping. They also left hundreds of gallons of water running because of the missing pipes that soaked the foundation, the flooring, and went up the walls, which now have mold that essentially destroyed the remaining value of the home. That they had just tore up the heater and stole the coil, and the water was all coming from some copper pipes that they had stolen out of the bathroom. And you think about, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars, people could pay a lifetime, you know, on that, and to think that there's not really any um, anything that they're going to get back out of it. And police often tell us that those thieves target properties they believe to be vacant. That's why they say it's vital for owners to keep tabs on their properties. The Missouri State Highway Patrol reports tonight seven people died in crashes over Labor Day weekend. That's the same number as 2012. Three of this year's fatalities happened in the Troop D area, which includes Springfield. From Friday night until Monday, the patrol investigated 248 crashes. 112 people were hurt in addition to those seven deaths. Now to our political coverage here at 10 tonight. A Missouri bill takes aim at federal gun laws. Governor Nixon vetoed House Bill 436, and now Color 10's Lindsey Klein found out Attorney General Chris Coster hopes Republicans don't override that veto. David Coster expressed concerns in a letter today. He says House Bill 436 cannot be looked at as merely symbolic and that it would declare federal gun laws unenforceable. It's simply not within the state authority to decide which law, federal laws it will abide by or have its citizens respect and, and those that won't. Missouri State Associate Professor Kevin Pibus says under the Supremacy Clause, House Bill 436 would be considered unconstitutional by the federal government. And the law is going to be interpreted by a federal court, not by a state court. Mm -hmm. Again, if someone is prosecuted for violation of a federal law, it's going to be in federal court court, then whoever's being prosecuted is going to have to say, look, the federal law is null and void. The Missouri legislature has said so, and the judge is going to laugh at that. Attorney General Chris Coster stated in his letter to Republicans that he feels there's, quote, no doubt that House Bill 436 will be closely scrutinized by the federal courts. The court doesn't have much enforcement power, but the court has claimed the authority to be the final word on the meaning of the Constitution. In Coster's letter, he explains he's concerned about three parts of House Bill 436 that will likely remain law, an end to cooperate efforts 
efforts between state and federal law enforcement officials, granting criminals a right to sue police officers for enforcing the law and creating confusion in Missouri's concealed carry law. Coster fears the House bill would endanger public safety. There are legitimate questions about the federal government's authority. It, it doesn't have unlimited authority, even in the regulation of firearms. But that's a different question than saying that the federal government has no authority to regulate in this subject matter. But the question of whether the federal government has its regulation is overreach is, is, is a straight up Second Amendment question that doesn't involve the states at all. Missouri House Speaker Tim Jones responded to Coster's letter stating he is, quote, disappointed that our attorney general has again opted to regurgitate the governor's talking points rather than stand with a bipartisan supermajority in the House and Senate in defense of the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding Missourians. Coster included in his letter that no other state has taken the step of criminalizing the enforcement of federal gun laws. The state legislature is coming back into session next week to consider overriding Governor Nixon's veto. If the legislature does override the veto, the bill becomes state law, but enforcing that and having the federal court recognize it is an entirely different matter. Much David. more to come on that story, Lindsay. Thanks. Uninsured Arkansans can start signing up for health coverage October 1st, but a newly formed state board is working now overtime to decide what the health insurance marketplace will look like. That board is made up of health insurance experts and consumer advocates. It's elected an interim chairman and a website name at its meeting today. The board, we're told, has a lot of work to do. Probably most importantly, personnel, hiring staff and getting going, but even down to the smallest things like, you know, running office space. I mean, they have to do all those type of things. Really, they're starting from scratch. Arkansas is one of seven states partnering up with Washington, D.C. to run its health insurance marketplace, but it could move to a state-run model in 2015. President Obama, meanwhile, hopes lawmakers will support his plan for a military strike in Syria. He wants action because he believes Syria used chemical weapons. Color 10 contacted members of Missouri's congressional delegation today to see if they support the president and his plan. Republican Billy Long says, quote, the president has yet to adequately explain to the American people how our national interests are threatened in this situation and how the action proposed would protect those interests. As a result, I remain very skeptical of involving our country in another country's civil war. Missouri Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill gave Color 10 this statement, saying, quote, a dictator's illegal and brutal murders of innocent civilians with chemical weapons has clear implications for our national security and for the safety of our allies, but we must avoid becoming entangled in another long, costly military campaign. If you want to hear from other Missouri lawmakers and also our Kansas, our, our Arkansas lawmakers too, look for this story on our website at ozarksfirst.com. More than 130 soldiers are back in the Ozarks tonight. Part of the 77th Engineer Company, 94th Engineer Battalion returned this morning. They spent nine months supporting Operation Enduring Freedom doing base deconstruction. Jamie Warner is here at 10 tonight with your Ozarks First forecast. And you couldn't actually ask for a really nicer weather than what we've seen the last 24 hours. Been absolutely gorgeous. Cool start this morning. Actually started the day in the upper 50s in most areas. But it got nice and warm this afternoon. 86, in fact, today here in Springfield. And that's exactly where we should be for this time of the year. A little cooler in the northeast. Uh, low 80s in Camdenton. Uh, Lake Ozark also coming in at 82. And a little warmer to our south and West Fayetteville saw an afternoon high of 88. Well, this evening under clear skies, much like last evening, it's cooling off rather quickly already in the low 60s up towards Rolla, uh, as well as uh, Salem and Eminence. West Plains at 64 here in Springfield, 65, 67 to our south in Harrison. Skies are clear, and that's how I think we're going to start tomorrow off. It looks like a generally sunny day, although it can't rule out a few high clouds. You might need a light jacket early on, about 59 at 7 o'clock, 81 at noon, and then we're going to find some dry heat through the afternoon with highs up around 86 or 87. Looks like 90s may make a return to the forecast later in the period. We'll talk more about that coming up. Jamie, thanks. You know, Branson's entertainment season does not end at Labor Day. In fact, businesses expect to see an autumn surge. November, of course, brings almost as much sales tax revenue to the city as July. Silver Dollar City says late autumn is the fastest growing season for park attendance. Between now and then, the park will hang more than a four and a half million Christmas slides as well. Businesses say destinations are finding ways to bring in more fall tourists than in previous years. Now, Silver Dollar City is closed this week, but reopened 
opens on Saturday for its National Harvest Festival. The Titanic Museum will host an outdoor Christian music concert coming up in October. Tonight, new at 10, dogs get the last splash. Fast Night Pool open one last time tonight for the season, and the dogs there got to paddle around the water. The money raised from the event goes to Cruise Dog Park. That's Springfield's first off-leash dog park. Vision 2020 brought many improvements to Springfield. Now get ready for Field Guide 2030. We just decided it was time to take that to a new level. What community leaders hope tonight to accomplish in the next 20 years. We invite you to follow Color 10 on Facebook. It's easy to find us. Look for the Facebook icon on our website right there at OzarksFirst.com. You're watching Color 10 News with David Oliver. Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. And sports with Dan Lucy. This is Color 10 News at 10. Daybreak is alive with smiles on Color Two. Oh, yeah. That's pretty bad. The crisp bread. Any parent can tell you kids are not cheap. We'll show you how you can save a ton of money on their clothes this weekend. That's tomorrow morning on Color Ten Daybreak. Buddy's Auto Sales is changing the way that you buy cars. With bank financing or guaranteed credit approval. If you're at least 18 years old making $1,000 a month, you're approved. Buddy's Auto Sales, where everyone we meet is treated like family. Because we wouldn't sell you a car that we wouldn't drive ourselves. Need your roof repaired or replaced? Call TaylorMade Roofing and Contracting Services today. All work is backed by our best price guarantee. Done in a timely, professional manner and comes with TaylorMade's full five-year warranty. When someone asks about your home, tell them it's TaylorMade. Welcome. Two students, please. There you go. Thank you. $19. At Commerce Bank, we work behind the scenes to help you manage your kids' spending. Eighteen fifty. Popcorn and gummy doodles. Just load their My Spending prepaid Visa card with a set amount. Wow. This is serious. We'll send you a balance alert. He even bought her candy? Every time they use it. The My Spending card from Commerce Bank. No monthly fees, no surprises. I love this part. Native American gaming has made a major impact on Oklahoma and Missouri. There are now close to 100 casinos just in Oklahoma. Close to 100 extremely competitive casinos. But only one that continues to rise above the others. Only one called the Entertainment Capital. A casino that is totally debt-free, giving them the ability to pay you more, much more. Springfield, only one casino stakes claim to the loosest slots in Oklahoma and Missouri. Only one. Only one. Only one. Buffalo Run Casino and Resort, Miami, Oklahoma. Come get your share. Countryside Cottage is proudly celebrating our 30th year serving the Ozarks with unique gifts that you can't find anywhere else. Visit Countryside Cottage today at 1316 East Republic Road for that perfect gift or something special for yourself. I'm Morris Dock, president of Moto Co. General Contractors. After 36 years and over 700 projects, our goal is still a happy, satisfied customer. When it was time to build a new office, Moto Co. was the way to go. From inception to the final product, we're very pleased with our results. Color 10 News is brought to you in part by Don Vance Auto Group in Marshfield. Tonight, new at 10, planning what Springfield will look like in 20 years tonight. The City Council and County Commission received updates on the Field Guide 2030. That's the community strategic plan. People have been working on it now for two and a half years, talking about ways the community can minimize poverty and increase civic engagement. It's a really the next step after the successes of the Vision 2020 plan. A lot of a lot of things, good things, have come from that. We just decided it was time to take that to a new level, uh, more of a strategic plan, and involve the community, uh, the citizens, and then the public officials to kind of keep us on track. Tonight's event was a study session for public leaders to understand how the field guide is developing. You know, Missouri's future appears bright if kids like Jalen Bledsoe stick around. He's a 15-year-old that started his own company. Bledsoe Technologies specializes in IT services. In two years, the company has grown to become worth about $3.5 million. There's nothing you can do as a, as a minor that'll shoot you down for too long. Because you're young, you can jump back up and keep going. That's one thing I live by since then is to keep going and move forward and always take risk.
Good for him. Bledsoe's company has grown from two workers to 150 employees, and he still attends Hazelwood West High School near St. Louis. Jamie's back with one more look at the future weather here in the Ozarks tonight. And our future is bright. Lots of sunshine, dry forecast, temperatures which are comfortable right now, but will be heating up as we work to this upcoming weekend. That's right. It looks like 90s may be returning. More on that coming up. Casey Jackson tweets, oh, it's cool. It's not like I had plans or anything. Hashtag stupid car. Casey, stop by the Honda Summer Clearance event and get a great deal on a new Civic. It comes standard with Bluetooth and Pandora compatibility. So instead of being all hashtag stupid car, you could be all hashtag you. Get a great deal on the fuel efficient Civic at the Honda Summer Clearance event happening now. Reads, reads warming. Fresh pizza is just $5 with Papa Murphy's Faves. It's your secret weapon to make the whole family happy. Get a large Faves, just five bucks. Fresh value, fresh made, fresh baked. Papa Murphy's, love at 425 degrees. Here are your current Ozarks Lake Levels. Are you putting off going to the dentist because you think you can't afford it? At Harrison Dentures and Dental Services, you'll receive quality dental care at a fraction of the cost. Dentures as low as $3.95. Extractions as low as $39 each with the purchase of dentures. You can afford a great smile from Harrison Dentures and Dental Services. Truer is offering 50 people a free opportunity to sneak preview the latest in hearing aids. With its lightweight design and greater speech enhancement, the only way you'll know you're wearing them is because of the remarkably improved hearing you'll experience. Spots are limited, so don't be left out. Call now. With my VIB at Village Inn, I choose four from over 30 delicious options to create my own unique combination. What could be better? Raining bacon. My VIB, only $6.99 all day, every day at Village Inn. All types of hardware. We got it. Lawn and garden. We got it. Cool clothes. We've got it. Get everything for your home with just one stop. Lawn and garden, pet needs, automotive tools, and so much more. Come visit the home of the answer man at Carney's Farm and Home in Clinton. The Ozarks, where people believe in better. Schools, businesses, hospitals, fearlessly moving forward. The Ozarks, fast but slow. Built on pride. Outdoors, entertainment, where people are connected through conversations and common goals, where the only way to move forward is to keep moving together. Your stories, and we are privileged to share them. Color 10 News is sponsored in part by Buffalo Run Casino. And now weather with Color 10 News Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. All right, absolutely gorgeous weather. And we've got the photo to prove it. This is one of the prettier shots that I've seen all year long. This was a photo taken last evening, Labor Day evening, of a sunset on Fellows Lake. And look at the lake water, just like glass right there as the sun is dipping below the horizon. Of course, the sun setting earlier and earlier as we progress closer and closer to the start of fall and then eventually closer and closer to the beginning of winter. Outside right now, doesn't feel like winter time. Doesn't even necessarily feel like like deep fall, but it does feel like we're moving in that direction. Temperatures in the mid 60s, dry air out there, low dew points in the upper 50s, and it will likely drop into the upper 50s for overnight low sites. So another cool night across the area, across the nation, pockets of somewhat active weather. We've got some wet weather down to the south. This is where we've got a, a, a basically a stalled out frontal boundary located right about in there. That's the same front that generated the showers and thunderstorms back on, on Sunday. Uh, and now that front has pushed all the way to the Gulf and stalled out. Out west, we've got some monsoon moisture. So the result is some showers and, and thunderstorms firing up during the heat of the day. What you can see is upstairs in the atmosphere, we also have that ridge of high pressure, the same one that generated the hot and dry conditions last week and the first half of this past weekend. Well, that ridge of high pressure is now located over Utah and western Colorado. It'll be back 
later in the forecast. Right now, though, it's out west. We have a trough in the eastern U.S. that helped up push that front through the Ozarks and behind that front Canadian high pressure is built in and is now centered just north of the area and it's pumping in that comfortable dry air that we have in place now across southern Missouri and northern Arkansas and what we will find as a result is generally cool nights and warm days and a very quiet weather pattern right into this upcoming weekend. A little sample of that as we take it to the next couple of days. Tonight clear. Uh, looks like tomorrow we'll see a little bit of high cloudiness maybe. There's going to be some weak disturbances which will be moving through. They may generate a few high clouds. That's going to be about it. Uh, tomorrow night we'll see generally clear skies. And then for Thursday it looks like a mostly sunny day. Again, maybe a little bit of high cloudiness. It will be a dry forecast. And the dry weather is going to hang around, I think, through this weekend and beyond into early next week. What will change are the temperatures. That ridge of high pressure will move back into the midsection of the country. And with it, we'll see the return of hot conditions but I'm gonna call it summer light conditions it will feel like summertime as far as the temperatures with highs back in the 90s I think starting this weekend and beyond in the next week but we're not really looking at a lot of humidity so it's the heat without the humidity uh, as we work through this weekend and early next week. And you often find that this time of the year as we sort of transition from summertime to fall. Overnight tonight, clear, uh, very comfortable, about 58 for an overnight low. There could be some patchy light fog to begin the day. The coolest readings across the eastern Ozarks, areas like Rolla, as well as Salem and Eminence, likely dropping into the mid-50s overnight tonight. Tomorrow we'll see a, a generally sunny day, maybe a little high cloudiness at times, about 86 for the high, maybe 87 here in Springfield, 88 in Joplin, 88 to our south in Harrison, up near 90 in Mountain Home. And again, it's a dry heat. And your forecast beyond uh, Wednesday, looking warm as well. Upper 80s on Thursday, upper 80s on Friday. Morning lows creeping back into the low 60s. Mid 60s for lows Saturday and Sunday with highs near 90 on Saturday and around 90 on Sunday and in the low 90s on Monday and Tuesday and not a drop of rain in the forecast. And if you're wondering when that next chance for rain will be, it probably won't be until the middle to latter portion of next week. So another run of, of dry conditions across the Ozarks. I told you I didn't want any more rain because I don't want to mow anymore. Well, so. you're not getting it then. There it goes. Maybe last weekend was the last time. We'll yeah. see. Jamie, thanks. Mm he -hmm. drew a walk and he drives it into center field. Jay is back near the wall. He's got it. The St. Louis Cardinals were locked in a pitcher's duel up in Cincinnati. Dan Lucy's coming up with sports highlights from there and the Missouri State Bears prep for Iowa. It's all next. Warm weather is here, and now P. Graham Dunn has so much more. Let's find that perfect piece for your outdoor room. P. Graham Dunn has Amish-made, maintenance-free poly furniture that can be left outside year-round. 3500 North Gretna Road in the Branson Mills Shopping Center. If you've been left out of health insurance at work, it's time to get in and take charge of your health care. Through the new health insurance marketplace, there's a plan for every budget for everyone. You can get insurance that provides affordable and complete coverage for prescription drugs, hospitalization, checkups and doctor visits, and more. Beginning October 1st, you can shop for health insurance plans for you and your family. Get details at arhealthconnector.org. Every Einstein Brothers bagel is fresh baked every day. We smear them, top them, and toast them for breakfast. We stack them and melt them with sides and salads for lunch. Pair them with our darn good coffee, and you've got a meal. Einstein Brothers Bagel. Fresh baked every day. Come see us for breakfast and lunch at two convenient Springfield locations. Watch for weather on the 10 with weather expert Chris Smith on Color 10 News this morning with Shannon Miller and Rob Evans. Count on weather on the 10s. Weekdays 5 to 7 on Color 10 News this morning in high definition. Join the Color 10 Reliable Imports at Chestnut and 65 Viewers Club for your chance to win up to $400 in gas cards every weeknight at 6 and 10. Tonight's winning number is 151242. If this is your number, you must call 862-1010 between 8 and 5 tomorrow to claim your cash. Here's a look at stock quotes of local interest.
10 News will continue in a moment. Steak and Shake, famous for steak burgers. You can own your own home. Your home can be what you always wanted. Land Home Packages are available right now. Own the home you've always wanted at a price you can afford. Elite Home Center, where you always get more home for your money. I play it forward for students with special needs. I play it forward for the sciences. I play it forward for better computer labs. Play it forward with Cadillac Ridges Scratchers for a chance to instantly win a new Cadillac vehicle or up to 100 grand cash. Plus, enter the second chance promotion online for another shot at a new Cadillac Escalade and cash prizes. Every ticket gives back to education, so play it forward with the Missouri Lottery. I play it forward for schools across Missouri. Affordable towing is available 24 hours a day with a full range of towing and service vehicles from light to medium and heavy duty trucks. Affordable towing never refuses a tow. When you're a foot and you need a tow, make sure it's affordable. And now, Color 10 Sports with Dan Lucy. The Missouri State Bears hit the practice field this afternoon as they get ready for their first ever trip to Iowa. In our Bear Nation report, both the Hawkeyes and the Bears will be looking for their first wins of the season. Missouri State lost a nail-biter to Northwestern Louisiana State 23-17. Iowa lost to Northern Illinois 30-27. In fact, the Hawkeyes have lost their last seven games. This is a money game for Missouri State. Bears will come away with $425,000 for their effort. Bears say other FCS teams have pulled the upset how about them that's always expected being the underdog and a small school to go up to the big school and have them take us i guess take us for granted and whatnot but as you've seen this week uh, this past week hey anything is possible for for the little dogs to go up and beat the big dogs so many other teams this past week there have been seven fcs teams that beat fbs teams so and two of them were from our conference so we can do it the St. Louis Cardinals continue their battle for the NL Central tonight, taking the ball as the starting pitcher, Michael Waka. Waka actually spent the holiday weekend in Springfield as he waited for the big league rosters to expand. Taking a look at the National League Central going into tonight's play, Pittsburgh remains on top. St. Louis has slipped to one game back. Reds are three and a half back of the Pirates. Michael Waka throwing BBs from the start for St. Louis. He would get Jay Bruce swinging here to end the first inning, and then he would get some help from his defense Colton Long Springfield class of 2012 nice play here behind second base and over to first for the out next batter next pitch is driven deep to center John Jay over the shoulder at the wall for the out Waka with a tip of the cap right here to salute that play he would strike out Zach Kozart in the fifth inning Waka pitched six innings zero runs three hits Homer Bailey just as good. He strikes out Matt Holliday in the sixth inning. This one was scoreless into the seventh. That's when Cincinnati would get on the board. Todd Frazier with this double into left. Billy Hamilton, fresh up from the minors, comes around to score to make it one nothing. That's all the Reds and Araldis Chapman would need. Chapman would slam the door. The ninth is 34th save of the year, and the Reds would win this game. The final was one to nothing. So the Cardinals are now 79-59. Two will continue this series tomorrow night in Cincinnati. Kansas City Royals rolled into September red hot, trying desperately to stay in the American League playoff picture. Royals went into tonight's game winners of seven of their last nine, trying for a second straight win over Seattle. The American League wild card tightening up. Rangers have joined the A's and Rays as the leaders. Baltimore two back, Royals four and a half back, but they have to climb the Yanks and the Indians to get into that first place match. Royals attacking Seattle early. First pitch to Kansas City of the game. Top of the bottom of the first goes to Alex Gordon. He takes it deep to right. This one is a solo shot to make it one nothing Royals. Kansas City would get more in the fourth inning. Salvador Perez with a screamer to left that gets into the bullpen. A solo blast to make it 2 0 Royals. Billy Butler would add to that fifth inning. Emilio Bonifacio would round third. He comes in to score, play at the plate. He is safe, and it is 3 0. Seattle, though, would get back in it with one swing of the bat in the sixth inning. Kyle Seeger would go deep to right. 
This went into the bullpen, a two-run shot to make it a 3-2 game. It was a 3-3 game eighth inning when Salvador Perez would save the day. He singles to left, Mike Mustaka scores, and the Royals go on to win the final 4-3. So the Royals are now 72-66, and, and we'll continue this series tomorrow night at the K. Boys High School Soccer tonight, Kickapoo hosting Nixa, 1-0 Kickapoo first half. Chiefs looking for more. The throw in goes into the box, but Nick's is Cody Barnes there to make the stop. Later, Kickapoo's Austin Reinhold with a left footed boot tipped over the crossbar by that sophomore keeper, Barnes. Nixon with a chance to even it up the Eagles with a penalty kick. Grant Duham shot blocked out of bounds by their keeper, Quinn Ruggieri. Chiefs threatening again. Again, it's Rhino with the pass to Alec Gathright. His head ball stopped by Barnes, but Kickapoo goes on to win this one, the final. 5-1. St. Louis losing again. Not good for the Cardinals. Not good for mm -hmm. September. All right. Thanks, Stan. We got a final word after this. Gary, got a new slogan for you. We'll always give you a little bit better price. That's true, but no. How about at Gary Wood, our deals are for real. There once was a hungry road that wouldn't let drivers get very far. It wore out their tires, forcing them to buy new ones. Then along came the Michelin man who proved the right tire changes everything. With long-lasting tires in place, those drivers were back on the road to saving money. Drive longer with the Michelin Defender Tire, backed by a 90,000-mile limited warranty. Michelin, a better way forward. At Rick's Automotive, get a $70 reward card after submission when you buy four Michelin tires. Oh, 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 oh. That was quick. This was you. Hmm. You've been trying to get me to eat egg whites for years. You went and talked to McDonald's. <gasps> oh, an egg white delight McMuffin. <laughs> oh, I knew it. The new egg white delight McMuffin. Freshly grilled egg whites and creamy white cheddar. Also available on any of your favorites. It's another new way to love McDonald's. Mm, this is good. Yeah, it's better than good. Do you remember my latte? Oh, yeah. I put that. It's in the car. Mm. Mm, that's good. to the huge lot. It's where you'd send a pal. No. You know, Gary Wood Cross or Dodge Jeep is your very best place to buy a vehicle. In Aurora, just 29 miles west of Springfield on Sunshine. I think it accidentally got locked. Here are tonight's winning lottery numbers. News will continue in a moment. Everyone loves Payday. Payday Motors and Billings can have you driving home in a good car fast with guaranteed credit approval. You heard that right. Payday Motors can reestablish your credit and get you back on the road in a nice car. Payday Motors, just 15 minutes west of Springfield on 60. Did you know 85% of Yellow Page users make a purchase? That's the power of yellow. That's why businesses advertise in the local Names and Numbers phone book. Our phone calls are increasing based on our advertising with Names and Numbers. Let your fingers do the walking and advertise your business in Names and Numbers today. Names and Numbers, it's your five-star phone book. With the finger on the pulse of the Ozarks, we have the resources to market your property, secure financing, and find the perfect home for your family. Now is the time to buy or sell with two locations. Springfield Branson Realty. Hi folks, Roger here, Trilex Ford Chrysler. Are you talking to yourself again? Trilex K, stop messing up my commercials. Ooh, more TV? Pick me, pick me, I want to do it. I here, do it. Me, 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 me. chase this for a while. Watch out, girl. Here at Trilakes, we've got low overhead. Take the easy drive down 65 and make Trilake A. Happy, happy, happy. Come see us at Trilakes Ford Chrysler, where we've got more deals than you can shake a stick at. 
forecast is kind of like a broken record. Here we are, stuck in a row. But you're not. We got a little bit of rain sure on Sunday, is. David. Sometimes David was mad about that rain because he had to mow his grass. And then it started yeah. raining. Yeah. It started raining, so he had to wait. Uh, but now he has all week long to mow his yard. Yeah. Did it, it gonna rain be a on Sunday? It, it did. I was mowing, and it started to rain. I had to stop. Not at my house, did it rain. <laughs> well, anyway, anything in sports tonight? No. Besides, you've already no, talked about. What are you talking about? Royals won, Cardinals lost. I don't talk about them. Okay. Thanks so much for watching and making Color 10 your choice for news, weather, and sports. If we aren't here, we're online anytime you want at Ozarksfirst.com. For now, from all of us here at Color 10, good night.